it was only just over a week ago that I predicted Samoa would make the World Cup final, and then... Well, don't I look a bit silly now? England 60, Samoa 6. What the fuck? Now, I do not care if you're the West Tigers playing the Australian side. To concede 60 points is an embarrassment. And let's not forget that going into this match, Samoa were favourites. They were $1.60 compared to England's $2.20. Milford and Luai certainly didn't work, and that's to be expected. It's their first game, but you cannot lose by 54 points, no matter what level you're at in the professional game. The NRL, Origin, World Cup, it is an embarrassment to concede 54 points. What do we just watch? Have a look at that. Who saw that coming? Not just the scoreline, not just how dominant England were, but also, damn, did I overrate Samoa. I'm going to look silly to a lot of people now because I thought Samoa would top the group and they've conceded near 50 points today. Absolute disgraceful performance. England were very, very good, don't get me wrong, but I expected a lot more from Samoa. But to concede 50 points in your first game, look, you can draw a line through Samoa, they can't fix it. England are on a completely different level. They just got rolled in the middle. And then England, they scored one, two, three, four, they scored six tries in the last 16 minutes of the game. Six tries in 16 minutes. What the fuck? Very disappointing game to open the World Cup, unless you're an England fan. But the fact they've conceded 54 points has raised huge concerns. And I can admit right now, if Matt Parrish is going to stay as the Samoan head coach, that I think that they are no chance of making it past even the first final. And now I may just be extra mad because I am upset that my predictions are already down the toilet. They've never been able to beat one of the top three countries, and unless you get those forwards going, I don't think Samoa is going to do too much.